And the moment I pulled in, it started running fantastic. And in, in about 10 days, 15 days, it just came down to halt. Um, a few more examples I have like that. Here is another one. I, I bring it in. Four days it picked. I mean, it's fantastic. 15, 16 results, just one ad. And then it dies down. The, the, there are quite a few of them that I encounter like that. So this Where they was peak one initially ad. and then they just drop off completely. Say, say it again. It, they get results right as you launch them and then over time they just start stop getting spin towards them yeah so so what do i do though cut it or or well create a duplicate and because they did pretty good i mean they, they were very proven ads these ads were very successful in the past which one is receiving all the spend so this one as you can see is receiving all the spend very much and this is last 14 days can we view the chart on that one yeah and so what's happening is the moment i put in they, they run everything else goes slow and then this itself dies down now my my overall performance goes down click delivery let's see what happened Click delivery? Yes. Oh, it doesn't want to show you. Yeah. Maybe on the ad set level. Can you go to the ad set level? Yeah. My thoughts are that the ads launched and they reached totally new audiences in the very mm -hmm. beginning. And then the frequency went up, meaning the ads were starting to be shown to the same people more often. So you got oh, less okay. submissions. That's my hypothesis. But if you hit inspect, we'll see. Yeah. It doesn't want to show us there either. Yeah. Um, so pretty much it's the same. It's just one ad that was. Yeah. There we go. All right. So that peak was right here. Mm -hmm. Costs were low. Mm -hmm. You see where your spend is? Yeah. Look at that. Those are nearly identical graphs. Mm -hmm. It seems that when you have your spend at closer to $65 daily, mm -hmm. it performs much better. But when it's spend is much lower okay so at the 65 dollar spend is where i'd say you're able to outperform your competitors and outbid them and gain okay. the grasp the the most amount of submissions at the lowest cost because nobody's competing is, with you in that spend range I see. you can see that here yeah and then also, if we look at those 13 significant edits, 13 ads created. But yeah, even then, there wasn't much so changes you, after. I see. So you have two charts. Are, are there one is for ad and one is for ad set? Or how, what are the two charts here? This one is for the ad set. Uh, the, the red one. And includes all the ads. Yeah. And your first time impression ratio also is decreasing. So it started even at the very beginning, you're mm -hmm. reaching about 77% first right. time, first time meaning mm -hmm. new people, 77% new people. Yeah. And over time, as it's going down alongside your spend, you're now reaching only 40% of new people. Therefore, you see higher lead costs, including your amount spent. Right. Your but option how do overlap. I Mm -hmm. is very clear now if we throw this in this chart even shows mm -hmm. that with a high spend you're able to overbid and it doesn't look like you had any other ad sets competing with yourself at all during this period 
So this is like a triple hitter here. So we're 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 outperform outperforming and over competing against anybody else, and we're also getting no overlap, which is resulting in like these three dollar cost, right? Massive volume. But when we have auction overlap, plus we have lower spend, and then we have lower first time impression ratio, we get this slap this slump where it's just a few leads at a high cost. So on on the issue of um, the first time impression, how do I control that, or can I control that? You have you can you can. So in order to control that, you have to exclude mm -hmm. your website visitors, okay. your ad engagements, and each of your ad sets. That's going to force it to only show to new people because. In order for it to show to the same people again, it's going to have to have already shown it to them before. And the only way your cold audience could do that uh -huh. is if they had visited your site and they ended up in your audience again, which makes sense because if you have lookalikes or other types of targeting, the algorithm is probably going to show it to people who have already engaged with your stuff, which makes sense. Yeah. Right. But you can exclude those people and force it to go back to about a 90% range. I see. So what are the three audiences? Can you repeat again? <laughs> the website? To exclude? Or? Mm -hmm. Website visitors mm -hmm. and then ad engagements, which is like Facebook page engagements. Okay. Anybody and that can raise your page? cost. That will potentially raise your costs. Mm -hmm. So in order to combat the rising costs, you just throw in a retargeting campaign and the retargeting will get super low costs, like two, three dollar leads, which makes up yeah. for the subtle increase. But oh, that's because God. you're reaching new people. Okay. Um, the auction overlap, how do I control that? I guess that, that just makes sure that I don't have another ads putting it. Right here, it'll tell you. Right. So we clicked on the little, and just to show you how I just got here, it was a little fast. Mm -hmm. We go back up this link right here, this button takes you down okay. there. Okay. And it tells you top overlapping right. ad sets for this time period. Okay. Jenny Beach six week challenge ad set, the look like US past 180 days, 0.6. That's not a big overlap, to be honest. Yeah. But when you combine those three together, right. it turns into mm -hmm. a 2.68, which you can see here. Yeah. It's been pretty high, but it's down, it's pretty low now. It's getting down to a four point something. Well, what you is can the see, And in order to prevent this from happening, you just exclude these audiences from your ad sets. Okay. Okay. Anything above a 20% overlap is going to be bad. A 2.68 is nothing to really worry about. Oh, okay. So... And we can see that here, like right here, it says 12.9. That's concerning mm -hmm. because when we look at it here on that same date, mm -hmm. we're talking about a $13 lead. But when you look down here, $7 lead when you're right. at a, right. a 4%. So. 10% and above in your case looks like it can be harming. Right. So then going back to the ad set again, if, if you go back to the campaign, maybe here, um, this one is part of CBO main. Um, I'm putting $100 as a budget. Um, so, on here so here's the other one which is kind of running flat to slightly down so should i then put an individual budget ad set budget or what do you, what do you suggest i mean they, they both I'll are keep it on CEO. Put, put it on similar budget no, keep it on CBO, the campaign budget. Okay, it's good campaign budget, that. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. But then this budget is good enough, right? I mean, I'm spending $100. Right. Did you increase it recently? Yeah, I did. I wanted to get out of this learning mode because it's 98% in learning mode. Right. And your lead cost. Yep, 
Yeah, you have a very low load time impression ratio. Mm -hmm. Low first time impression, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with an increased spin, that can actually end up hurting eventually because you're going to run out of people to reach. Right, right, right. Your yeah, frequency that's is growing. Right. So you either need new audiences or you're going to need to start excluding. Yeah, so new audiences is going to be tough. I mean, I've been running this ad for a while, right? For yeah, same, same ad running for more than a year now. Yeah, then honestly, 65 daily might be that range. Okay. That's more maintainable, but you might okay. stay and you could theoretically get out of learning phase at a 65 daily because you're not overspending, forcing additional dollars to go to the same people. That might be the actual spend, which is consistent for you. And you could probably get out of learning because you uh -huh. would be getting a lower cost, which would result in even more leads than a higher cost of spend would. Oh, okay. So you suggest that I reduce the budget too? That's what it looks like was working at 65. Now, were you at 60 or anything around that range in the last few days? Um, yesterday, I think I went up $200. I think I, I probably was at $80. Um, yeah, I was at 80 here and 20 here. So I up by $20 on both of them. You increased it to 100 yesterday? Yeah. Your cost is going down. Yeah. So, I mean, it's performing a little bit better because it's getting more lead now. Mm-hmm. Because on, on 17, it was really bad. It is getting better. When you see this lead going up yeah. and you see this going down in going cost, down. Right. don't change anything. Right. See until if it goes up here, if these follow, great. Okay. And okay. if they start to like do something like this, where you see this start to happen, where now the blue's going down and the green's going up, watch uh -huh. it for another two days. And if they continue to head towards each other, uh -huh. um, we want to divert them again. So that's when I would start pulling back spend. Okay. But no sense in pulling back spend because now that you've increased, it looks like we're coming back to a situation like this. Right. But okay. also keep in mind, it won't yeah. go like that forever. Um, it will be a point right. where it's that diminished returns, but that's okay because right. if it can stay consistent, it's, you know, a certain right. number, that's good. Right. Uh, on, that, on that ad, um, which was doing, um, hold on. Um, no, not that. Uh, this ad. Oh, this, this, okay, this ad set is different. One second, just real quick, and then I'm done after that. Um, and this, when, when, um, did I lose this? Remember, we saw that, that. Add, um, that is it. Should be in CBO main. Okay. Um, CBO yeah. Oh no, the timing is different. That's why. Yeah. On that, it, does it make sense to like restart this ad, like duplicate it and shut this one off? That probably won't make any difference would it no because what had happened was the delivery on this thing mm -hmm. this ad alone if we go yeah. back to that chart we saw that it was because of the new people it reached okay i see it was reaching a 
nearly double the amount of people during that time. Right. It was reaching a hundred, a hundred percent. Yeah. Wow. Only new people on that day, and uh -huh. then seventy-seven on that day, and then we started seeing a sixty-six, and everything below sixty-six, we started seeing a huge drop because. Yeah. So about forty percent of those yeah, new how people. How did it happen? It reached hundred percent down. And how can I control that? I guess that's. Let's see if I, I can guess, get 30 days of data. No, I didn't think it would. Uh, no. In order to stay at the only new, mm -hmm. you'd have to do the exclusions. But my only concern was if you do the exclusions, since you're in a limited location, you're confined by mile radius. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, you're going to start reaching an audience that is not your audience. Yeah, right. Right, exactly. Because I'm trying to reach a new audience and it's just, you know, people who I don't know, who they, they will never come. And I'm right. putting ads there, yeah. Your costs are now heading in a better direction. Yeah. I'd, may, I'd check those out for the next few days, but if they start to go down, I mm -hmm. decrease cost and then consider excluding certain audiences and potentially launching a retargeting. Do you have a retargeting mm -hmm. now? No, only one of them I had and I, I shut it down because it wasn't doing anything. Um, uh, yeah, Newport News. Newport, not on Chesapeake, but on Newport News, I had one campaign. Um, and I shut it down today because it was not doing anything. Um, I consider launching a retargeting on 180 day website visitors at $5 okay. daily spend and only have your top two performing ads in that audience. The in top okay. two performing meaning they have over 20 submissions at least and they're at around $5 okay. or below cost. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. And if so, that works, that should get you lower than your current average, which should be like five dollars and below per lead. Oh, okay. So I'm running into like as as things progress, a, a running into a situation where scaling would be difficult, right? Because people are already being reached. Many right. Days. You're gonna hit diminished returns. Yeah. So well, now's the time you, to well, keep spending consistent or mm -hmm. if you're looking to still scale up and bring more people in mm -hmm. you're the only way to continue growing it would be to you you would end up lo decreasing on the profit of bringing somebody in mm -hmm. in order to continue scaling right like if we charted it out it's going to start costing you more but theoretically you'd still be making more money but it would be less profitable if that makes sense right yeah yeah i understand okay i mean the, the the good thing is the audience is i'm in a military area so people just rotate quite a bit here so new fresh people come in and people oh. leave so well that's yeah. good yeah yeah so that, that's a good thing so okay thank you Chase. i will i'll see what i need to do Thanks right. a lot. Yes, thank you.